Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 63. Power Apps Portals versus Dynamics 365 Portals. There still seems to be some confusion about the difference between Power Apps Portals and their predecessor, Dynamics 365 Portals. In this tip, I hope to clear up that confusion. The first thing to know is that there really is no difference. Power Apps Portals is really just a rebranding of Dynamics 365 Portals. The new branding reflects the fact that there is now a template available that has no dependencies on any first-party Dynamics 365 apps, such as sales or customer service. That being said, there are still different templates available for Power Apps Portals that do depend on Dynamics. In fact, they all do except the one known as the Starter Portal. These templates, including the Customer Self-Service, Employee Self-Service, Community Portal, and Partner Portal, can all be installed via make.powerapps.com if you have the correct Dynamics 365 app installed in your environment. However, regardless of which template you choose, these are all considered Power Apps portals. To emphasize, the underlying technology is exactly the same, and any of the new features announced for Power Apps portals, like the enhancements to the Portal Studio, will also apply to customers who started with the Dynamics 365 portal. With regards to licensing, Microsoft did announce a new licensing model along with the rebranding. However, this new licensing model will also apply to customers using a portal linked to a Dynamics instance as soon as our current agreement expires. So, the good news is, you never have to choose between Power Apps Portals and Dynamics 365 Portals because they are the exact same thing. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 63 on Power Apps Portals versus Dynamics 365 Portals useful.